Hey and welcome to episode 238 of 365 Thoughts on Confidence. You are in exactly the right place if you're ready to get conscious about your confidence. In this video, I'm going to share a couple of tips on how you can conquer those dirty, dirty excuses. So let's take a look at what today's thought on confidence is. Don't let your excuses win. So overcoming excuses is a mindset. It's a choice. You get to choose exactly how you're going to manage your excuses. We tend to be very well practiced in coming up with excuses and reasons why we can't try something or why something won't work. So we have to get conscious about how we're going to reframe the excuses that we come up with. It all comes down to beliefs, first of all. So the first belief that you need to instill is that your past experiences do not predict your future experiences. If you made a mistake in the past or if you had some kind of failure in the past, it doesn't mean that you're always going to repeat that pattern in the future. So let go of those past mistakes and failures. Take the lessons from them and move on. The second belief you want to instill when it comes to managing your excuses is about taking responsibility. You are empowered when you realize that the buck stops with you, that anything that you win at or anything that you lose at is your own responsibility. You cannot blame others, you cannot blame the economy, you cannot blame, blame anything outside of you. Yes, shit does happen, life happens, but how you respond to it is your responsibility. And that right there is an empowering realization. So all the excuses you can come up with, it's your responsibility as to, first of all, whether you come up with them, and secondly, whether you're actually going to believe them. The third belief to instill, to overcome excuses is about recognizing that that resistance that you feel, whatever it is that you're wanting to achieve that is suddenly triggering all of these excuses and these reasons why you can't achieve it, use that as a trigger. Feel the resistance and start training yourself to take action when you feel that resistance. Use it as your motivation to get going now, get going imperfectly, get going without all of the answers so that it becomes like that Pavlov's dog, that you feel the resistance, right, that means I need to go. So change up that mindset, reframe what that resistance and what that fear and what those excuses mean to you. If you find yourself making excuses, it means you need to get going, take action. The fourth belief you need to instill to overcome your excuses is about stop buying your own bullshit. Stop buying into your own BS. It's so easy to lie to ourselves and it's so easy to fall for our own lies. And how backwards is that? So when you find yourself kind of falling into that trap of believing your own excuses, stop what you're doing and ask yourself these questions. First of all, is it true? So that excuse that you've just come up with as to why you can't do that thing, ask yourself, is it really true? And be honest with your answer. The second question to ask yourself is, do I accept it? Whether it is true or not, are you willing to accept it? If you are willing to accept that excuse, then that means you're willing to accept your status quo. You're willing to accept that you will never reach your dreams. And if that's acceptable to you, carry on. If it's not, the next question you need to ask yourself is, what can I do right now? What can you do right now just to get yourself going, just to take that first step? Even if you don't have all of the information, what's one thing that you can get going right now in this moment before there's room for even more excuses to come your way? So I hope these couple of tips help you in winning the game of excuses. I'd love to hear from you. What excuse are you ready to take out of commission? where you're ready to draw the line in the sand and no longer buy into your own BS. Let me know in the comments down below and you never know, you might just be helping somebody else who reads your comment. And otherwise, if today's video resonates with you, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the notifications button, and then share it with a friend. And whatever you do next, do it consciously, do it confidently, and I'll see you in the next video.